Be ready. Eddie Cordova. Let's see if he can bring uh, his talents to the fore and perhaps give uh, Errol Spence, who's of course heavily favored in this situation, a real go of it. What should people be looking at, first of all, uh, Doug, in terms of Spence? Well, his poise, I think, is his number one characteristic uh, attribute as a fighter. Um, he has the kind of speed and power that produces knockouts. In fact, he's won his last two bouts by first-round stoppage. But he doesn't go and uh, force a knockout. He doesn't look for the knockout. He's a boxer. He's a very fast and accurate southpaw boxer puncher. He sort of lets the, the, the knockout come naturally. Last fight for Cordova. Got a victory. A unanimous decision win over Luis Hernandez in Utah. He's 34 years old. Good jab. He's got a good right foot. He goes to the body with his, his right hand a lot. Often punches in combination. This is the seventh pro fight for Errol Spence, and he just turned pro last November. So he stayed very active. In fact, he turned pro right here. On hardcore fans and the boxing media, they, they just like that blend of speed and power. Um, but they also take note of his technique. He's got very good mechanics. Something to keep in mind as well as a good body puncher. And there he digs that left hand. Cordova trying to figure out a way to keep Spence off. Oh, there's that left hook to the body. That's what we were talking about, that body attack. And that one really hurt. You can see the grimace on Cordova's face. The count is seven. He can't Eight. recover. No, he's not going to make it. Ten and out. Knockout. First round, Errol Spence Jr. with a terrific body punch. No doom for Cordova. I've seen him hurt guys with the right to the body. And this is... Uh, I don't want to say it's new, but I, I haven't seen Out of Dallas, Texas, Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence, now 7-0. And, oh. and I, I noticed Sam Watson in his corner, who I think is...